Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gas here, and for today's second video, I'm bringing you a little discussion on the topic of zombie bosses coming with the new DLC, Der Eisendrach, which releases literally in just over a week today. Okay, so my friend Mr. Carrot sent me this image, and I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below. Go check him out. It's an awesome find that he has shown. And watch to the end of the video because I'm pretty sure your minds will be blown. But like I say, a massive shout out to Carrot. He tried to fool me with a little bit of a fakery with this, but yeah, it's still pretty legit. And it's a character from Dead Ops Arcade. And this got me wondering, what possible zombie bosses are we going to have? So, let's just have a quick rundown. I might skip a few here, so let me know. So, let's go back. Uh, zombie bosses. Right. So, Call of the Dead was one of the main maps where we actually had a main zombie boss. I'm not counting Ascension with the monkeys or the hellhounds because they're like boss rounds. I'm talking about a boss that will be either there throughout the entire map or appear and literally cause a lot of carnage. Right, so Call of the Dead, it had George A. Romero, which was a badass. I love George A. Romero. He's one of the best directors of zombie films. If you don't know who he is, go look him up. He followed you around with a big light pole and he would literally kick your ass if you got anywhere near him turning him zombified and you have to cool him down in the water. So that was uh, Call of the Dead with George A. Romero, zombie boss. Next we had Shangri-La and that had two types of bosses. I'm classing these as bosses because they weren't specifically round based and it was the Napalm zombie and the Shika zombie. Those were awesome little bosses. Shangri-La was a really hard map because it was really closed tight spaces so they had the Napalm zombie and the Shika zombie. The next boss was the Moon Zombie, which was the Astronaut Zombie. He would just follow you around on Moon. I was a massive fan of Moon, especially because this guy would literally appear out of nowhere, headbutt you, take away all your perks, and send you across the map via teleportation using his bonds. He was a bit of a bastard, so I didn't really care for him. Yeah, fuck yourself, Mr. Spaceman. Next up, I know I'm jumping ahead here and I've probably missed a few, but I'm not going through the chronological order of everyone. This is the Panzer Soldat, and he was on Origins, and he was one of the best bosses that followed you around the map, because you could pretty much kill him with a ray gun. The splash of a ray gun would kill him dead pretty, pretty easy. So, I actually enjoyed the Panzer Soldat being in the map. It added a little bit extra element in there with the big giants walking around, and then this guy following you around. He wasn't too fast, and he wasn't too hard to kill, and when a few of them spawned in, it made things a little bit more tricky. Better than the Marguas. And a lot of people are expecting that the Panzer Soldat is going to return into Isendrak. But here is where I have a different thing to swerve the ball. I'm thinking, how about all those bosses that we've seen through Dead Ops Arcade? We've never actually physically seen them come to life. Now, bear with me on this. Now, in multiplayer, they released three new melee weapons. One was the Butterfly Knife and the Knuckle Dusters which could also be the Galva Knuckles, really, if you wanted to go down that route for zombies. So we have the Butterfly Knife and the Knuckle Duster and a wrench. Now, this image that my friend sent me showed a zombie called a Zombie Engineer, and he is holding a wrench. Now, how awesome would it be if we had a zombie that it kind of can fit into the whole the Ice and Drac Nazi zombie universe if this guy was an engineer at that site? And he's got a wrench and he's going to walk around and literally follow you everywhere and kick your ass to bits with this wrench. I mean, they've literally got the mechanics in there for the wrench. They've put the wrench in there for multiplayer. Why not use it? Why not utilize it in the zombie mode? I can honestly see this actually being part of the zombie mode at some point. May not be Dyson Drac, but it'd be cool if we actually saw this guy from Dead Ops Arcade. Like we see, we haven't really seen him up close and personal. So it wouldn't be a bad thing for Triarch to bring him back and stick him into a fully zombie fledged map of his own and he can terrorize the hell out of us with his wrench. Like I say, they've got the wrench from multiplayer. Just stick some blood on it, glorify it up a bit, give this guy a wrench, let him chase us around. And I honestly think he would be an absolutely badass boss. He looks like he'd probably easy to take down, but he'd probably spawn in just as easy. Kind of like what George would do. And here's the kicker, guys. The, like, when you go into Black Ops and you look at this on the terminal, it is called Ropen. And Ropen is a place in Austria. Could it be the possible place where the Eisendrak is located in Ropen? Very, very cool that's tied into this from Black Ops 1. And the guy is... Openmeyer as well, and he's part of the Majestic 12, which deals in like aliens and UFO type stuff. It's all pretty awesome stuff, guys. But I won't delve too much into that in this video. But yeah, guys, if you did like this video and think it was cool, it's just a short little video once again. Comment down below what you think. If you're new on my channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.